Hello and welcome to my channel named Nilabja Sarkar. Today we will see how to make Google Forms for the online tests. Over here you must be logged in through your Google account and over here in the search bar you just write Google Forms. This will open the page for Google Forms. Over here you click on the first option and then you will be able to see personal and business. Business will cost you money. Personal is for personal use. You go to Google Forms over here click on this link through personal that will take you to the google forms dashboard there will be many options over here as templates click on the first one which is a blank form when you click on this this will create an untitled form the first thing that you do is over here you will find three settings one is customize themes that lets you to change the color of the form add photographs or backgrounds preview is how the form would look after it is created and settings click on settings over here you have got three tabs general presentation quizzes first thing that you do is go to quizzes and make this a quiz next is release grades do not release grades immediately after submission make sure it is set to later after manual review then there are three options over here the child should be able to see the missed question the correct answer and point values make sure these three things are ticked then you may go to presentations and then shows progress bar if you put a tick mark on this one this will show you the progress or this will show the child the progress through the different sections that he is visiting shuffle question order if you check this checkbox then the questions that you have put in your google form will come in shuffled order make sure if you tick on this your questions should not be numbered otherwise question number 10 will come before question number one that might create a problem with the students then show link to submit another response make sure this is unticked so that a child cannot submit another response i would prefer not to shuffle question that's totally up to you so i am right now unticking this then i go to general tab over here automatically the tick will appear because i have selected in quizzes later after manual review and it says turns on email collection so make sure this is selected in general limit to one response now this makes sure if you limit to one response which is act absolutely mandatory the child needs to be logged in through google account that is good because that gives you a level of security to your forms and the child will not be able to put in multiple responses then make sure these two checkboxes are clear edit after submit see summary charts and text responses once i'm done with this click on the save button to save the settings for this particular form then go to untitled form give the heading it can be the name of the school etc the subject name and then a form description that might give uh, details about the full marks the time etc the email address by default comes on the very top untitled question that's the first question that comes in click on that over here we demand the name of the candidate and as soon as you write name automatically this changes to short answer okay now there should not be any answer key and the point value to be set to zero if it is not showing zero you go to this option more the last is preferences and then the default quiz value over here should be zero make sure it is set to zero if it is one set it to zero click on save now for all questions you'll be getting zero points and the question in which you want to change the point you can do that manually i'll show you how now name is done and after that make sure you change this field to required so that a child cannot skip this you may create one more question through this add question or you may click on the duplicate one this is an easier option i guess then roll number that's important once you select roll number automatically the short answer text gets a validation which means a child will be able to se select number only i mean if he selects any alphabets or special characters it will be discarded automatically no answer keys for this point should be set to zero and required field is already set to on position again one more for the class when you write in class slash section you can you should in fact change this to drop down and change this as say this is a question paper for standard eight you can write 
8a first option second option you can go to the second option by directly pressing the down arrow key of your keyboard and then 8b 8c you can put in roman numerals as well 8d and 8e once you're done with this the credentials are over now we can add one more section to do that this floating settings bar you can just click on the add section that takes you to a new section now give us heading to this say mcq and some description over here say each question carries uh, one mark or whatever something like this and then you can add a new question by clicking on this plus button then you can see a new question appears over here you write say the first question what is the capital of india and you put a question mark first option new delhi second option kolkata third option chennai and the last option mumbai and then you should go to answer key select the correct answer as new delhi change the point value to 1 or 2 whatever the case may be and click on the done once you are done with this your first question is made you can go to preview to see how the form looks like and you can in fact enter uh, one set of uh, answers and check whether the responses are coming correctly or not then the next thing is uh, the send button you click on the send button then you will be able to see collect email address you can either send this from through email address or better to click on this link button and then you will get a long link shorten this click on copy so the copy gets created and then you can either send this uh, url through whatsapp or through email addresses or whichever other form you would love so i'm done with this put across and now i am done now one more thing if you want to add a title to the form simply whatever title over given you have given over here if you want to copy it simply click over here automatically the name of the form also gets changed so that's it thank you